my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute ladybird cake topper. So I actually made my little ladybird to be part of these Valentine's cupcakes that you can see here. She's my little love bug. And if you'd like to see how I made the other cupcake toppers in this collection, then you will find a tutorial on my cake blog and I'll leave a link for that in the description. Okay then, let's make the ladybird cake topper. So to begin with I made the ladybird's body by forming about 20 grams of black modelling paste into a ball shape. I then used the palm of my hands just to flatten it slightly and my fingers just to narrow one end. It's worth noting that I made the white disc that the ladybird will go on the night before. I just cut it out of white modelling paste and let it set hard so it will take the weight of the ladybird. Okay so I've narrowed the end of it there. I'm just checking that the size is okay for my white disc that I made yesterday. And I'm just going to show that it's kind of down at one end, just where the head will go. I'm now just going to use a large ball tool just to flatten the narrower end, just to make a space for the head. And then I may have squished the back a little bit, so I'm just going to reform that with my fingers. So I thought it would be nice to add a little detail to the body, so I'm just using the vein end of my flute and vein tool to just create little ridges across the top of the body. Then I'm going to pick it up and just follow the line down all the way around the body. And then I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to make the outer shell by rolling out some red modelling paste. And I'm just going to cut this out into a circle. I'm just going to neaten the edges with my finger. Okay, now I'm going to cut this in half, so I've got either side of my shell. And then I'm going to bring my circle cutter back and I'm just going to take off one side of the half and now you can see I've got that little rugby ball shape. And I'm just going to put that on top of the other half just to make sure I get the same size. Okay, so I have my two sides of shells, I'm just going to check there's no rough edges. And now I'm just going to check that they're an okay size for the body that I've made. They seem alright to me. And now I'm just going to use the larger end of a piping nozzle, just to take the tip off there as you can see. That's going to be where the head will go. And now I'm just using the smaller end of a ball tool just to create some little dots onto the shell and then in that I'm just going to place small balls of black modelling paste and just flatten them with the ball tool. Now I found that mine stuck in there without any help but you may use some clear alcohol or edible glue if you feel like they're not sticking. And you just carry on to fill all of your holes. I did rather a lot. So now I'm just using a little bit of clear alcohol to stick the first half of the shell on. And you can see that that little curved area that we cut out was going around the neck area that we made earlier. Just going to put that into position. There we go. And then I'm just going to gently tease that into position, leaving a little bit of the end sticking out. I wanted it to kind of be lifted a little bit away from the body at the back. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat this with the other side.
just using a little bit of clear alcohol to stick the body into position. So now I'm making the head, we're rolling about six grams of black modeling paste into a ball shape. And I'm just gonna use some clear alcohol to stick it into position. And I'm just gonna shape it further with my fingers. I don't want it to be so ball shaped, I wanna have a little bit of flat at the front there. And I'm just going to use the larger end of my ball tool just to create little indents on the side of the face where the eyes will go. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the clip alcohol to stick some little balls of white modelling paste into the eye holes and then just reinforce that with the ball tool again, just flattening them and pushing them into the sockets. And I'm now going to take the smaller end of the ball tool just to create some holes inside the whites of the eyes for the pupils. I'm going to use some black sugar pearls for the pupils but you could just use some small balls of black modeling paste if you like. Just again going to secure them with the smaller end of the ball tool. And now I'm taking the smaller ends of my flute and vein tool again just to create some little holes for the antennas. Um, I do this slowly just to make sure you're not putting them in the wrong place. So each time I'm just going to go down a little bit further. Now I've just got some small balls of black modelling paste and I'm just going to roll them with my finger and so it tapers at one end as you can see there. The little teardrop shapes. And then again, I'm just going to use some clear alcohol to help stick them into position. So just push it into the hole and then shape. Here my hole is not deep enough to hold the antenna, so I'm just making that a little deeper. And then that can go all the way in and just have enough hole so the antennas will stand proud of the head. And then you can just shape it to how you want them. That's your little ladybird cupcake topper made. I really hope that you liked this tutorial. Please don't forget to check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. It really does help my teeny tiny channel. Thanks so much for watching.